Right, so today we're going to be playing Lead by James. Um, really easy song to play. Uh, just need your timing right and stuff like that, but that's basically it. So the three main chords we're looking at are C, G, and I'll just go for a full bar F. Okay, so basically the sort of main bit of the song is. So what we're basically doing there is, I like a lot of the time we play a C, a sort of fuller C when I'm using the two fingers on the sixth and fifth strings in the third fret, but for this particular one we're going to need this pinky, so what we're doing is just playing a sort of normal C. So if we're basically putting the first finger, second string, first fret, the middle finger, second fret, fourth string, and we're putting the third finger on the fifth string in the third fret. What we want to do is... Mute the six, so we're just touching it no more with this finger here, just underneath it. So we go here, can't hear it, and we're just getting the, the sort of strumming right. down on the 4th string 3rd fret, then off, and we're actually take, kind of taking them all off to, to transition to a G, just like this, so the in between bit, it sounds funny but a lot of guitarists what we'll do is you, it's, it's very hard to move your fingers that quickly to transition from a C to a G. So if I do it really slowly just to show you. So I'm actually hitting the da, da. I'm actually, da. it's actually open strings. But what you do to keep the rhythm going is you only hit a couple of strings. You don't hit the full thing because you'll make it very, very obvious that you're not hitting a chord at that point. Um, very common when you're when you're transitioning quickly from uh, to the between two different chords that one of the in between ones is actually just hitting the open string or even slightly muted string when you're doing it. So it, it just takes a wee bit of practice because I see a lot of guitarists, especially when they're starting out, will try and jump really quickly and it upsets the rhythm of the song and things like that. But what you really want to do is a. Uh, Okay, again a wee bit of practice to get into that, and then what we're playing for the notes again, we've done it again. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and G. So again, when you're doing that in between and you're not actually hitting a chord because your fingers are off the fretboard ready to change into another chord, just make sure you don't hit too many strings. And as time goes on, you'll, you'll learn which ones to hit more. What you're probably aiming for is if you're going for a G, if that's going to be the next uh, chord, then you probably want to hit what's going to be the open strings on a G, which would be um, sort of third and fourth strings, really. Um, so again, the... the I said very loud, sorry. Two, three, four. Together. Oops, sorry.
Ja, vi må kikke. Okay, so again, just a wee bit of practice and a, and a, I suppose a wee bit of knowledge that um, not all guitarists hit the chords right on the beat, right away. Sometimes part of that um, part of that sequence is actually open strings. It's very hard to swap in between chords that at, at speed, at real speed. So sometimes you hear it's one of the downbeats might be slightly muted or it might be slightly it might be open strings, but just for a second until it catches up on the next chord. So hopefully that's been helpful. Give it a go. Great song, great band. Uh, and I'll see you later. Cheers.